Hi friends, good morning. I have provided payment business analyst training for working professional and student. In case you would like to join the course, please approach for me. In this video, let's see talk about CAMP 054 Bank to Customer Debit Credit Notification Message. What are the content should be available in my PPT? Purpose of the CAMP 054 message, scope of the message structure of the message and one simple example flow. These are the details should be available. Purpose of the CAMP 054 message. The CAMP 054 message should be trigger debit and credit notification for debit party as well as the credit party. In case the transaction should be initiated from accounting owner or accounting service provider, the debit notification should be triggered from both the party. It should be go to the Twitter side the credit notification should be triggered for creditor. You can able to get the CAMP 054 message uh, in case you initiate the single transaction also, it should be triggered. In case you initiate the bulk transaction also, it should be triggered. It should be applicable for both single transaction as well as the bulk transaction. CAMP 054 message we call it as an option message. It's not a mandatory message. Whenever both the banks or bilateral agreed, on the time only the CAMP 054 message should be generated. Which scenario the CAMP 054 message should be generated? Whenever the transaction initiated PAX 8 or PAX 9 or PAX 9 cover or PAX 010, on the time CAMP 054 message should be initiated. It does not contain any balance information of the account. It should, it's still only for the notification. Its scope, CAMP 054 message scope should not cover for uh, advice and the statement of intermediary. Take this example. You, you send the fund from debtor to creditor. Uh, many intermediary parties should be involved. involved. Debtor, instructing agent, instructor, and then intermediary and creditor. In this CAMP 054 message should be only triggered for the creditor and debtor only. It's never ever triggered for instructing agent to instructed agent or instructed agent to inter, uh, intermediary. It won't trigger and it won't generate any kind of advice copies. What is the scope of the message? Already said that CAMP 054 message should be triggered only for the notification. It's equivalent to MT for MT900, MT19. Yeah, MT they use two messages. MT900 confirmation of debit and MT19 confirmation of credit. But MX we use only one message CAMP 054. Why it's needed? Suppose the debtor and creditor need to understand they, what, uh, what kind of action should be triggered in their account. Debit account and credit account. That notification need to be sent to debtor and creditor. The CAMP 054 message should be used for cash management and or the reconciliation purpose also. When, what are the scenarios the CAMP 054 message should be triggered? In case the, the fund should not be sent to, uh, fund should not be debit to debtor side and fund should not be credit to the creditor side under time. The CAM 054 message should not be triggered. Uh, in case in, in case the single entry happened from this debtor side, on the time the message should be happen. In case the bulk entry should be happen from this uh, bulk debit should be happen from this debtor type, debtor side, on the time also the CAM 054 notification message should be triggered. In case the single entry happened from this creditor side, on the time also the CAM 054 message should be triggered. In case the bulk entry happened to that uh, creditor side, on the time also the CAM 054 message notification should be triggered. The CAMP 054 we called as a notification message. In this message, you cannot be able to see that any account information uh, uh, and you cannot be able to trigger any kind of advice copies. The, in case the party should be initiate the transaction, on the time also the CAMP 054 should be triggered. In case uh, uh, somebody, uh, some other parties, account, some, some, some party should be initiated. Based on the debtor, the debtor agent should be initiated on the time also the CAMP 054 notification message, message should be triggered to the um, debtor agent. Let's see that uh, structure of the CAMP 054 message. It should be contained the group header, notification and supplementary data. Group header, you can able to see that message identification, creation, date and time like that information. Notification, you can able to see that all the credit and debit entry. Uh, just notification purpose, they trigger the notification, what action should be happen from their account, what action happened from the benefit account. So, you can able to see the debit and credit entries. Supplementary data, you can able to see the place and envelope details. Just see that simple example. The corporate Y should be initiated for the paying 001 message, payment initiation message. 
it's go to the debtor agent agent a after it's go to the uh, debtor agent agent a after it's go to the instructing agent it's convert as a pax 08 message after it's go to the instructed agent again it's transfer to that three data okay whenever the debit should be happen from this debtor agent on the time the camp 054 message should be generated camp 054 dbt I, I, have, I have mentioned from here whenever the credit should be happen from this credit dot set on the time also the cam 054 message should be generated as i mentioned the credit dot side in this notification in this below the point the cam 054 should be generated uh intermediary point it's never ever send any advice copy or uh, upon information related information in cam 054 message next this is also a simple example to prove how it should be triggered you know very well we know corporate need to send the money to Rahul Corporate Dubai. We know from Indian customer, he had an account with SB India instructing a uh, debtor agent. And a debtor agent and a creditor agent, Citibank, AE, UAE, they don't have a direct relationship. So that reason, the instructing agent and instructed agent should be involved. In this scenario, we know is a debtor. He is a person and debtor. His name is a, we know. Debtor agent is a SB India. And instructing agent is a ICC Bank India and instructed agent is a FAB UAE and creditor agent is a City Bank UAE, creditor is a Rahul. This is the fund flow should be happen for this we know to Rahul. Already I said that we know we called as a ordering customer 15 a in MT, uh, in MX we called as a debtor, SB India, um, MT we called as a ordering institution 32 a MX we called as a debtor agent. Sender correspondent man ICC man 53A we called as uh, in uh, MX we called as instructing agent. Receiver correspondent man 54A MX we called as instructed agent. Account with institution 57A we called as MX creditor agent. Beneficiary 59A we called as a creditor from MX side. This is for M2 to MX conversion mapping. 20 we called as a sender reference number we called as instructing identification number 21 is a transaction number reference number we called as a transaction identification 13 c is a time indication settlement time indication 29 23 b is a bank operation code we called as a intermediary bank operation code 23 is a instruction code we called as instruction for creditor agent 32 is a validate currency code and settlement we called as a interbank settlement date currency and amount 15 is a ordering customer Dep mx we called as a debtor 52 is a ordering institution Debtor agent, 53A is a sender correspondent, instructing agent, 54A is a receiver correspondent, instructor agent, 56A is a intermediary, intermediary agent, 57A is a account with institution, filter agent, 58 is a beneficiary institution, filter, 59 is a beneficiary filter, 72 is a sender to receive information. Here we call the additional information. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel and provide your support.